A new development in the search for the driver in a deadly hit and run crash. The victim, a Vietnam War veteran who lived in Norristown. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis has the very latest on this investigation. Kimberly. Jazz police say a red Ford Focus was spotted leaving the scene shortly after a 69 year old Marine veteran was hit getting out of his car and just left for dead. Tonight, the victim's family is pleading with the driver. How can you carry a burden like that? around for the rest of your life, knowing that you killed somebody that was loved. The family of 69 year old Samuel Jackson is still in shock. More than 24 hours after he was killed in a hit and run crash Sunday night at West Oak and Astor Streets in Norristown. We were a close knit family and it hasn't, I'm telling you, it hasn't hit yet. It hasn't hit. My other siblings, they all live in Coatesville and they're all devastated. Little Sammy, as his sister Peggy Jackson lovingly called him, was a Vietnam War veteran. She tells us war changed the Marine and he was never the same after he returned home. He would hear fireworks. He would hear thunder. It was shell shock. He was very standoffish. Police have interviewed a family member of a person of interest, but so far no arrest has been made. If you are the person, I would just ask you to turn yourself in. Um, no matter what the circumstances are, you've had almost 24 hours to, to think this situation out. As police continue to search for the driver, the family is preparing to bury a man who fought to keep our country safe. He was somebody. And it's ironic that all this is being talked about on Veterans Day. He loved being a veteran. Police believe the driver was speeding when their vehicle hit Jackson. We're live in Norristown. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Kimberly, thank you.